Hi there, this is Budasar and I welcome you all to the Muddy Show. In this video, I am extremely proud to say that ISRO's Chandrayaan 1 has finally detected that rusting is taking place in the poles of our beloved moon. So gaining an insight of why the rust is being developed, we will be taking a closer look on the conditions that are prevailing for the rusting to take place in the first place. The moon is slowly rusting, changing its color to a slight red and it's possibly Earth's fault. The discovery came after scientists analyzed data from the Indian lunar probe Chandrayaan-1, which orbited the moon in 2008. The probe also carried an instrument built by NASA that monitors the moon's minerals. While the probe found samples of water, one of the two key components needed for rust to form on the lunar surface, the moon lacks the other one needed and that is oxygen. So when researchers at NASA and Hawaii Institute of Geophysics and Planetology looked at the probe's date, they were stunned to find the hints of hematite, a form of iron oxide known as rust. At first, I totally didn't believe it. It shouldn't exist based on the conditions present on moon. Not only is there no air on the moon, but it is flooded with hydrogen that flows from the sun carried by solar wind. Rust is produced when oxygen removes electron from iron. Hydrogen does the opposite by adding electrons. That makes it near impossible for rust to form on the hydrogen rich moon. Now after months of research, scientists think they have solved the mystery. The first clue came when they found that the rust was more concentrated on the side of the moon that faced the earth. A magnetic field surrounds the earth and solar wind stretches this bubble to create a long magnetic tail in the downwind direction. The moon which is 3,84,400 kilometers away from the earth enters this tail three days before it's full and takes six days to cross the tail and exit on the other side. During these six days, Earth's magnetic tail covers the moon's surface with electrons. Scientists believe oxygen from Earth travel on this magnetic tail to land on the moon where it mixes with lunar water molecules to create rust. The magnetic tail also blocks nearly all the solar wind during the full moon, meaning moon is temporarily shielded from the blast of hydrogen opening a window for the rust to form. So that's pretty much it, the condition that is required for the rust to form on the surface of the moon. Once earth comes in between sun and moon, moon gets shielded by the solar wind created by the sun, hydrogen is not reaching the moon from the sun, oxygen gets carried on the magnetic field of the earth to the sun, this oxygen mixes with water molecules on the moon. And thus, hematite, which is a form of rust, takes to form on the polar regions of the moon. So that's pretty much it. That's all the science behind why rusting is taking place on the surface of the moon. In case, if you have any questions regarding this whole process that I just discussed, you're free to pin down any question that comes to your mind in the comment section. So that's pretty much it for the video. In case you end up liking the video, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to my channel. As more and more cosmic phenomena keeps on taking place on a daily basis, I'll come up with a brand new video for you guys very, very soon. Till then, peace and you have a beautiful day. Thank you so much.